It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have a familiar distillery on the table. A little bit newer bottle here. Mm -hmm. What do we got? We got Maker's Heart Release. The Heart Release. It it, it touches my heart to see this. Oh my gosh. Here, um, I mean, I guess you could say that because this is technically the second chapter or the next phase of the wood finishing series. Now, we've talked about the wood finishing series on here before, the FAEs, the BEPs, uh, RC6, SE4PR5, <laughs> name a bunch of letters and numbers. R2D2, and, C3PO. You know, we can remember all those. That was like phase one of the wood finishing series uh, that was kicked off by Jane Bowie when she was there. We very much love the wood finishing series. But then, you know, her and Denny Potter, they left Maker's Mark to go off and start their own venture. Potter Jane. Uh, recently, we thought the wood finishing series was going to be done. That was and, kind of the... And so did everyone, because that's what they said. Yeah, that was kind of the, the messaging was that yeah. it was done, but this is technically the next phase of that. So it is still kind of the wood finishing series, but turning a page. On well, it. I mean, it does still bear wood finishing series it does. on there, but it's, different a, it's bottle. a different bottle. This is the same bottle as the Cellar Aged, aged. which it makes sense because this one was finished with two different French oak staves, one for five weeks and one for nine weeks. Right. 20 staves total, mm -hmm. 10 each. In in their limestone cellar, which is where cellar age cellar comes, from. comes from. And right here on the side, it says the second chapter. So, you know, they, they are setting it up with the different label, the different bottle sure. as like, but you know, the, the new class, marking the new generation. Time. Yeah, they're the, marking in time that this is the next part. Right. Sarah, $75 um, suggested retail price on this, mm -hmm. and it is a nationwide release. It is. Though it is limited, but all the wood finishing series have been known limited. as limited releases, and we found them pretty regularly. Well, I think when it comes to limited, Chad, we're talking like, is it limited in the quantity of bottles that are released in that one wave? You know, if it's a one-off release, Technically, it's limited because it's this release and then no more. When but they're if gone, they're gone. they release oh, twenty thousand bottles yeah. of a limited release, yeah, when they're gone, they're gone. But there's plenty to go around. Sure. So 112 proof, love to see that. And uh, I'm a big fan of the French oak safe, so I have high hopes for this yes. one. I mean, I definitely get all that French oak influence on the nose, like chocolatey, oh, you know, mocha, good. a little bit of coffee, French vanilla. I'm not surprised, but no, but it's just so welcome. Oh, and then that's just a like good nose. Mm, that nice toasty oak. You said all the things and I'm just like, it's a good nose. It is good. <laughs> I like all those things. It's very comfy. It reminds me of like being in a cozy cafe on like a rainy, chilly day and everything just smells so good. There's a chocolate croissant. There's a cup of coffee. Yeah, yeah. it reminds me of a, a, a commercial of all things from like the 80s or 90s where it reminds me of that cafe in Paris and the two are like, <laughs> you know. So blah, blah, blah. what is it, Nespresso? It's, <laughs> no, it was some coffee commercial, like it, probably Folgers, but mm, anyway. Yeah. Oh, I love that smell. Oh yeah, that is a good nose. Okay, let's get to it, to your health. Mm. Oh. Wow. More oak forward and a little bit of maple on the palate than I was expecting from the nose, but still with that chocolatey French vanilla. Yeah, yeah, definitely maple, vanilla, very coating, very good mouthfeel. Good really. mouthfeel, yeah. And then as it's sort of settling down on the palate, I'm getting some spice. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, it's a weeder, but weeders have spice. Well, it could be coming from, <laughs> right. It's yeah, not it's coming necessarily from the wood, coming, it's coming from, yeah. Exactly, it could be coming from the staves. Mm. Um, immediately, my first thought is, I want to drink this on a day like I just described, like a cold- In Paris, a at chilly, that cafe in Paris. No, 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 no. Mm. A chilly fall day, you know, mm. um, which hopefully are coming up soon. No, uh, not yet. Yes, not please, yet. I, no. He likes the summer, I'm not a summer fan. Look at me, I don't belong in the summer. <laughs> I mean, I don't Look either, at but- I don't like it. Not to go off on a tangent, if you're new to the channel, we do that. But I like knowing when I step outside the door, I don't have to check the weather app first. I'm gonna be okay in shorts and, and a t-shirt. I always check the weather app. Mm. Yeah, for me, this is like chilly fall day. But I this feel would like, be perfect, I think. Agreed, but I feel like you could also drink this in the summer. It's it's not... No, I'm just saying it's a vibe. It's it, it, is, it is a vibe, but yeah. Uh, I feel like this would so, sort of be an all season, all weather. Agreed, <laughs> but that's when I most want to drink it. It makes me feel cozy. Hmm. Okay, before my second sip, your third sip. Oh yeah, you know I'm already on <laughs> my third. We want to hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com, where for a limited time, 24 hours uh, from the publishing of this video, you can get the t-shirt that I'm wearing, Fueled by Whiskey, for 15% off. It's a, I think they call them a flash sale. A flash sale, yeah. you know, just for funsies. And we also restocked that whiskey. Yes. 
that that uh, the whiskey shirt is mm -hmm. uh, restocked. Uh, of course, our Glen Cairns, our mini Glens, our water glasses, our rocks glasses, copitas, um, hoodies, hoodies. If it's cold where you are, mm -hmm. hats and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreoncom slash night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where all these lovely folks down here who help us make the dream work they get uh, access to discounts on that merch all the time, depending on that tier. Uh, access to our barrel picks, after the episode exclusives, and more. There you go. Look at them names go. Look at them go. We really do appreciate them. They make the channel happen. I gotta make sure there's enough time for them all to be on screen. They're the only reason we so, can get bottles like this. So I'm vamping. Right, yeah. And there we go. Should be good. It ended 15 seconds ago. Thank Who you. knows? Who, Who knows? knows? <laughs> all right, <laughs> we're gonna let this sit in our glass Aww. for a second. I know. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now, Sarah, I did open this the other day to let it breathe. I feel like this to get has, some air. Mm -hmm, I feel like this has become um, a bit of a trend with you, Chad. Of ah. like, oh, this came and I opened it, and now we're just now talking about it. But I tasted it the other day, and I'm like, now wait one minute. It's for science. Mm -hmm. All right, my second sip, that all important second sip, everybody. I think this might be my fourth sip. I'm not sure. Yeah, I get a lot of vanillas, French vanillas, very upfront. And as it sat and, here, and and buttery on the palate, buttery, very buttery, silky. Buttery, silky, caramel. Yes, like, caramel. Mm -hmm. at, but like specifically like gooey caramel texture, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Um, I mean, it is it is sweet. It kind of reminds me of uh, like an iced cafe mocha chino frappe. If you can't tell, Chad's not a frequent coffee order. Um, <laughs> macchiato, I get what you're saying, like, macchiato, like a vanilla latte or like a caramel uh, macchiato or there something like that. Thanks it has like the coffee and the earthiness, but also with the sweetness. Yeah, I think it is sweet, but the oak influence really balances that out. So I'm not mm -hmm. feeling like it's too far in one camp or the other, because there is enough oak on it to make it, you know, but it's not over my oak threshold. I think it's really in, in good balance. And I really love the proof, especially with the wheat, you know, mash bill, the weeded mash bill, it's making it feel just like, just right. Yeah. The sweetness and the proof and the oak. But the more I drink it, the more sort of desserty flavors I am picking up. And it's reminding me of, uh, and I'm gonna get this wrong because it's been so long, but there was this, caramel ice cream pop, you know, on a stick uh -huh. type of thing. And just that, well, one, the viscosity of ice cream melting in your mouth, mm -hmm. right? That caramel pop, <laughs> mm -hmm. popsicle. I have no idea what he's talking about, but if you know, put it I in the think, comments, because yeah, we need help here. You guys I don't probably know. do. That's sort of what I'm getting, but I am getting more desserty flavors um, the more mm. and more I drink this and the more it kind of settles into the finish. And again, I agree. I just really like how the oak keeps a slight savory note in there and balances that sweetness out. So it's not just like you're drinking sugar, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's, and again, with the proof, like I think it's keeping it still substantial, but it does have a sweet quality to it. It sure does. And I think people who- Or desserty, I think is more appropriate. Yeah, might not love super sweet bourbons. You would still like this, I think. You think so? Oh, I think so. You no, know, I think they might be you a know? little, well, I don't know. It all depends. I don't think so, Chad. And I honestly think for 75 bucks, a double finish, it's got two, you know, nine weeks and five weeks or whichever order that goes in of two different French oak stave uh, finishes in mm. that limestone cellar and it being at 112 proof for 75 bucks. I mean, I always think the wood finishing series is a great deal. I would happily buy another bottle of this again. I think we should try it against the cellar age just to give a comparison of like yeah. what those two are like together. But mm -hmm. if I couldn't find the cellar age, this would be a happy consolation prize for me. And I feel like, and I, ha I don't have much um, or any uh, facts or info to back this up, mm. but I feel, <laughs> so. So it's just feelings. Normal things on the internet then. Hearsay, conjecture. Yeah, because of the new bottle, because it's in the same bottle as the cellar age, uh, because of the you know fancy new label and everything, I feel like people are gonna be going after this one more than the other wood finishing series. I saw this at a bar the other day. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was $50 for a half ounce pour, which is wild. Wouldn't pay that. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. That's um, crazy. For a $75 retail bottle, right. half an ounce half for 50 an ounce, bucks? Yeah, made, uh, crazy, no. I can't. It could have I, been one ounce also. I, I, I think it was a half an ounce, but it could have been one ounce. I know that it wasn't an ounce and a half, and I was like, there ain't no way. Yeah. I can't believe Ever. that that would be typical of a bar. That's gotta be an outlier. It's, it's gotta, gotta be, be an, outlier. an outlier. But when I was like, absolutely not. And then I hadn't, you know, we hadn't gotten this bottle yet. Then come to find out it's only $75 retail. I'm like, are you insane? <laughs> what are you doing? But that's neither here nor there. Yeah. I would say yes. I would happily. This, yeah. Recommend me, or not. 
Two holds, thumbs, two recommends. Yeah, holds up the wood finishing series line. Mm. It's a great start to the new chapter. Would buy another, and we'll keep looking for more. So, as you normally say, I think that'll do it, Chad. That's where we better leave it, it's what yeah. I say, Sarah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There are suggestions of other videos down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.